Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part tw no, 13 of my Let's Play of Momus Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. So, we return to Grongold. And this time, unlike before, we can have, you know, regular conversations with the townspeople. Yeah, when we came there, when we came they had all lost their senses. So, once again, let's pass through and see if we can get some stories out of these people. Perhaps they have some important information. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, here's a person. You remember when we went through the Hill of Marches? Mephisto destroyed like a ton of golems and then when we got to the end we had to fight one ourselves. This girl's been in charge of recovery. But only this one is in vaguely workable condition. Unfortunately, their materials are inadequate, so they won't be able to fix her. So, wouldn't you help fixing her up? If we're able to fix it, she'll give it to us. Well, it is the king's orders. To assist us. But anyway, yes. First thing we need is... Spirit medicine. I think that's just something that refills our as MP. And yes, I have some. She takes it and pours it into its nervous system pathways. Or whatever. Alright, next item is going to be a magic gear. I uh, have one of those too. Okay, she sets it up in the engine. Right, next item. Yamatai Sake. Wait, booze? Where did booze go in here? Okay, so yes, we have some. So, she takes the booze and she drinks it all in one straight set of gulps. But that didn't help the golem at all. Okay then. Next item is a chipapa. Are you kidding me? That's these things. If you use them, they'll do funny things. Sayonara! And it flies off somewhere. Once I used one on accident and it went out, came back with three more. I'm like, what? Anyway, I have plenty of them. So, let's use it. What's she do? She puts it in the brain cavity. Are you serious? A Papa runs this thing. All right then, repairs are complete. Golem, activate. Go, 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 go. And as promised, she's giving us the rights to operate it. Golem, this is your new master. Understood. I will accompany you. Her name's MS. Classical, isn't it? Oh, furthermore, she's going to let us have this. If we have this item, then dull-type monsters can become golems. Oh great, race changing. So that's all that this girl can do for us. Um, alright then. I'll never speak to you again. Ah, here we'll look at. Welcome to my castle. It's a storeroom. Totally the storm. Well, the old castle is in its current state, as you know. So it'll take some time to build. Until then, this storeroom is Grand Gold Castle. That's convenient. Anyway, Grand Gold, King Grand Gold has requests to make of us. In Central Gold, there are some unusual happenings going on. Oh, but before we go into that, let's explain really quickly how the gold region works. The gold region is divided into the east portion, the central portion, and the west portion. This grand gold castle is in the eastern portion. 
So we got through Gold Fort, went through Gold Dahl, and also the Hill of Marches, and finally the capital. East Gold is actually pretty big. So once you pass through the gate, the checkpoint to the west of here, then you're in Central Gold. That's where the, the incidents are occurring. So the biggest town in the area is the seaport. Well, Goldport, it's called. So after that, the various rulers of these towns are having problems. It's a kind of feudal society. He takes the time to mention. So in these villages, what's going on? But, well... Oh. So in these villages, things are happening, huh? Well, before we listen to that, Alice says we need to hear about the Gold West region. Alright. It's true that we should know. The Gold West region is mostly uninhabited. The central and east... The division of the central and east portions is the... Nightmare Barrens. So once you pass through that, you're in the west portion. It's a desert and unsuitable for habitation. And then, off in that direction is where the Gold Region's Tartaros is. It's at the farthest west of the desert. It's a pretty harsh region, so you need to be careful when you go there. And also for that reason, we haven't been able to do much investigating ourselves. Well, we have to go there, come what may. But it seems like we should probably fix everything else in the region before we do that. Here's a hint of what you should be doing first. Or rather, what you should be doing last. Well, if possible, King Gold here would like to request our help with these requests of his first. If all goes well, then his civilians will be helped out. So there are two incidents that we would like, he would like us to look into. First of all, at the Succubus Village. The Succubus Village, huh? Sonia doesn't want to go there. It might be... It might have a deleterious effect on Luca's upbringing. Well, even if it's called the Succubus Village, it's mostly local for folklore, is all. At the moment, there are no succubi there. Uh, no. Even from the village chief on down, most of the village is succubus. Is succubi. Oh, uh, actually, should I have said that out loud? Well, as the king, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. They probably have their own reasons. In any case, there's a suspicious monster that's been turning up around there. She's been making unreasonable demands of the village chief, according to the rumors at least. It doesn't look like a, any kind of above, above board stuff because the village chief hasn't petitioned the regional government for any assistance. But, it has come to King Grongold's ears, so he can't let it go. So he's going to have us investigate. Oh, mysterious monster with demands, huh? Yeah, we better check it out. The other one is the Noblewoman's Village. The provisional ruler there, Cassandra Neyraid, has shut herself up in her mansion. The king has sent messengers and all, but her maid has turned them away. The maid happens to be a monster, and what she says is, 
You are absolutely not allowed to meet with the ruler. Okay. Well, if Cassandra's involved, we'd probably have to do something about it. But what's up with this shutting herself up in her mansion in the business? Well, that's what we know. As an exchange, so to speak, he's going to give permission for us to travel about his rounds and all. Uh, travel about his lands and all. So you can pass through the west checkpoint and head into the next region. Of course, the investigation of the Tartaros will also be possible. They'll support us as much as they can, but again, they can't really get there. So, mysterious monsters, two incidents, got it. And after resolving those two, we should probably forge our contract with Salamander. And then we go to Tartaros. Of course, it's up to you, Luca. Hmm, whatever. If you want more information, you can speak to my ministers here. They'll have more directly applicable advice. Yeah, sure. Very well, we leave it to you. I have my work as a king to get to. Especially regarding the Mao's potential war. Hmm, well, let's talk to Queen Ant. Okay, in this storehouse, or rather, palace, we welcome you. In keeping with the Alliance, she's using her ant people as soldiers. She's trying to repay the gratitude she has towards us for saving us and everything. And she would like to help, but for the moment, she's too busy. So we'll have to wait. Sounds like she'll join our party. Oh, what am I thinking? Everybody joins our party. Oh, there's a myth. Starts right out here. Shall I operate? Hmm. So I've been forgetting about this. Vanilla noticed when we were at Plansect Village, the Merchant Mermaid was there and had some high-level magic stones. Wind, earth, water. Okay, great. So let's go and talk to her. Oops. Chi pop pa, chi pop pa, atomo no naka, chi pop pop. Hey, that's exactly what Emmeth is about. Oh, the chi pop is singing. Those things have become about ten times more entertaining. But I don't need that. I need a harpy feather. Where was plant act? That's right. You see, those lyrics were part of what... Part of a stage thing in which my little girls participated. It was pretty funny. So anyway. This is the Merchant Mermaid. And Vanilla's gonna talk to her. It's about the natural magic stones and such. All right, I'm a merchant too, so let's talk terms. And do they talk conditions? All right, that's okay then. Pretty good exchange. Well, thank you very much. It'll be a pleasure working, doing business with you. Okay. Next up. Ah, Grand Gold Magic Capital. In our item shop, they had flame, ice, and lightning magic stones. High level magic stones. So let's go there and see if we can get some hands on some of those. Grungle. I'm still not really sure where the item shop is. Oh, yeah, there. Alright, so... Greetings, I'm the Merchant Vanilla. 
looking to get the three magic stones here. Well, thanks for coming, but we can't do anything for you. The magic stones are provided to us from the national research facilities. We're able to sell them from time to time, but we, due to our agreements, we can't resell them to other merchants. So, unless you've got some pull with the palace, then you can't get any. Sorry. Oh, pull with the palace? Yeah, we got that. So, let's go to the storehouse. So, yeah, this is the girl I was about to run and talk to, but I forgot. I hadn't fulfilled the prerequisites. So, greetings! I'm v the Merchant Vanilla. And she's here for the three magic stones. Oh, you're a child from the Hero Lucas party. Since you're such great benefactors to the kingdom, we'd be glad to let you have them free of charge. Well, accepting things free of charge just isn't how our good exchange works. Vanilla also has to pay a certain appropriate price. Hmm. You're certainly an upfront merchant, aren't you? In that case, regarding the monthly requirements for etc. etc. Vanilla is getting pretty good at her merchant talk, according to what it tells us. Okay, so those are good conditions. And we'd be glad to help you out. So, contact us at the research lab anytime. She's basically the entire research lab. All right, thank you very much. It's a pleasure doing business with you. And now we've got Vanilla up to date. Hmm. So. Yeah, she's thinking that she's pretty soon surpassed her master, the one who taught her. But anyway, I was wondering if she would give us a talk about the next one yet. So now that we've spoken to the king, this guy will get out of our way. He's received word, so go ahead and pass. So once you pass through here, if you go west, you go to Gold Vol... Yeah, the Gold Volcano. But you should probably go to Goldport to the northeast first. Have yourself a rest. Yeah, Alice agrees. We should go to gold, Goldport first. As long as we aren't ready. Until we feel we are ready, we shouldn't head for Gold Volcano. Alright then. Goldport. So, this is Goldport. It's a pretty lively place. Alright then, let's start gathering info. Well, look at this info is gonna find us. So, you there, young hero. You look pretty accomplished. Huh? Oh, you look like other characters. The, the, the artist of this character has very similar looking characters, now that I think of it. Anyway. Are you interested in retrieving treasure from a ghost ship? Of course. Of course we're interested. Milady, you shouldn't just butt into conversations like this. Yeah, of course, we are interested in the treasure, though. We have no interest in any ghost ships. Talk to someone else. It's not that we're scared, it's that we're busy. Alice is scared. No, oh, well, sorry for intruding. But she introduces herself. This is Savannah. A, a humble pirate. Seriously. Okay, for sure. So, right now she's looking for allies to help her on a trip to the ghost ship. If you do have interest, won't you come to her house? A trap is not what this seems to be. So, what should we do? 
Do it now, do it later, or say we're not interested. Oh, let's do it now. Alright, come to my house. And she'll explain. Alright, explanation time, Selena. Selena. Alright. There was a legendary pirate, Captain Selena. And her greatest treasure, which she left behind. Wouldn't you want to get your hands ya? Get your hands on it. Oh, the secret treasure of Captain Selene. Of course we want it. Milady, what's the saying that is appropriate to this? <sighs> I want it so badly that my hand would come out of my throat. <laughs> Japanese sayings, don't you love them? Anyway, stop quizzing me on these things. Alice thinks about how Tamamo would do that kind of stuff to her. Ah, uh, well, it's true we're interested. But how do we get to this ghost ship? Well, that, first of all. Selena here is Selene, is Captain Selene's descendant. Oh. To think that she had a descendant. Oh, was that Magal? Literally granddaughter? I thought this was like way a long time ago. 600 years or whatever. Anyway. Selene basically operated out of this out of this town and she did have a child. Oh yeah, she's telling us here. She had a daughter and that was this Selena's mother. In other words, Selene is her grandmother. Great. Oh, to think that Selene had a, a descendant. Just so everybody knows, Boney here is the Pirate Queen Rose's descendant. Oh, Selene has heard about heard rumors about the fish pirates. To think that we would meet, it's quite the fate. So, while Selena's grandmother was traveling the oceans, her grandfather received a letter. So, that's why she's here. She retrieved the letter from this house. So on this map of the sea, the place where the Selene, that's the ship, not the captain. Although I guess the ga captain went down with it. Probably. Anyway. The route that the Selene took is on the map that she found here. And on its final journey, the place they were going to was a certain sea floor cave with an ancient book in it. Oh, no, that was found in an ancient book. If we go southwest from... southwest? From Goldport, you should get there. So that's what the letter from Captain Selene said. So on their final journey, they got to their destination. Ah. And in the seafloor cave, she found the, the treasure she was looking for. As it was written, it was a box of disasters. We could call it a Pandora's box. In any case, it was a finely crafted golden box. Metal box. Yeah, metal box. And that night they decided to open it. And that is the last thing that was recorded on the letter. After that, the Selene disappeared. So, Pandora's box, they opened it and something happened to the ship. 
So, now it's... Lost, huh? Hmm. The Pandora's box. That's something that they first did. No. Go ahead and keep talking. When Alice says the first, she's referring to Alice Fee's the first. So, that's pretty old. Well, that's about it. Selene's pirate flag has been spotted on the ghost ship. Interesting. So the ghost ship is Selene's pirate ship. Thanks to the Pandora's box, it's become a ghost ship. So the ghost ship is wandering about in a certain vicinity of the sea. Taking all the information, it's you. we should be able to find it. So on the Selene, there should be plenty of treasures to be found. In addition to the usual stuff, there's probably gold and silver and all that. Well, more than normal treasures, we want to know about this Pandora's box. That sounds pretty dangerous, so we should do something about it. That's right. We can't have something that dangerous just floating about out there. Yeah, the Pandora's box does bother us. Oh, if the Pandora's box is what bothers us, then we must be really good people. And to be quite frank, the talk about treasures... It was just kind of bait to lure in... You know, worthy adventurers. But it appears that, for us, that kind of bait wasn't necessary. In that case, then you are also... She's thinking that what was in the Pandora's box can't be released to the outside. So this disaster that befell the Captain Selene and her, and her ship should probably be sealed again on the ocean floor. Alright. The fish pirates are going to help you out. And we're going to take the box. Uh, so, Captain Selene's ghost ship. And a sealed box. Oh. It's been a while, but her pirate blood is acting up here. Well, Ashel, don't get too excited that you trip yourself up. Ugh. Milady just told me off. Ha! To think that Ashel would get so excited to be told off by Boney of all people. In any case. Selena, Selena has procured a ship to get us to where we're going. And when she comes along with us, we're going to be her bodyguards. So once you're ready, come to the docks. Once you're on board, we depart. A ghost ship, huh? In truth, Alice isn't too interested, but this Pandora's box... Well, she can't leave it alone. Alright then, let's go. Let's get on to that ghost ship and find this Pandora's box. All right, fish pirates, let's go. Sounds good. But that's not all we're doing here. This guy is standing in the wall. That's unusual. All right, here. Hmm. I see. She's not going to tell us directly. 
We can ask her for Aura Halcon items. But she says she doesn't have any. We need to find some. Get your hands on it yourself. Yeah, so that's one of the things we have to do. There's something else. Oh, a pub. That's right. The pub. Razaro and Marlin. What are you guys plotting here now? Man, that's rude. We're not doing anything underhanded here. Right, old man? Right. We just run a... card business. Aren't you guys here without your... without your parents' permission to? So, these excuses aren't getting through to Sonia. After all, she's still plenty angry. Man, even when we were at the feast and everyone, we... You got so angry at us then, and you're still not tired of it. You really scared everybody there, too. Why are you running this underworld organization anyway? She still isn't convinced of your explanation. So she's going to continue being angry, right? I'm telling you, it's a misunderstanding. It's just a card blank gaming card gaming organization. We like that sort of thing, card games. Yeah, we like seeing the numbers and the suits and everything come up. And what comes after that is also pleasant. Yeah, they like gambling. Anyway, we decided to come to this bar and hide ourselves away a bit. And what are you guys doing in a pub anyway? You should be sticking to more wholesome stuff. Huh. Hey, anyway, what are you guys doing here? You have that whole mansion and everything in Grandol. Well, we were involved in that big operation, you know? For a while, we kind of need to keep our heads... Keep our heads low and out of our usual trappings. Hey, how about this? We're going to accompany you on your journey. If we're just wandering about from place to place, then anybody after us will have a hard time. That being how it is, we're also a bit worried about you guys. So, protecting you a bit is something we can do. How about it? Yeah, sure. I should have said no. I think Marlin said something funny. Oh, anyway. Alright, can't be helped. If you're going to go so far as to ask us for it, all right, we'll come along. So the two of them can join your party. Oh, so it's been a while since I've been on an adventure. And furthermore, I'm going with Marcus's, Marquerus' son, Marquerus's son, and Karin's daughter. Man, it's making me feel old. You are old. I'm still young. Yeah. Anyway, where's your base of operations, anyway? You got a lot of guys. Like enough you won't fit in just any old building. Now, we've got this thing called the Pocket Mall Castle. Here's an explanation. Oh, that's pretty nice. Then, how about I set up a casino in there for you? You plan on starting your underhanded gambling in our in our pocket my old castle hey I'm not taking you guys for marks and the cards aren't going to be rigged the slots aren't going to be weighted or anything so relax hmm well whatever as long as you're in my party I guess it's fine I wonder what I should do with the aura Halcon or the ghost ship first well, the ghost ship's right here, and it's not like I'm going to buy any Oric Alcum crap. Alright. So, we're ready for departure. Once you get on, we can leave anytime. Well, you're rather well prepared here. 
Furthermore, this is a pretty good pirate ship. It's about as big as the fish. Well, her grandmother's treasure was actually pretty good. So it can go into the farther re reaches of the sea, all the way to the ghost ship. Just like that. So, are you ready? We're ready anytime, so... Yes or no? Alright then, let's go. Cast anchor and let's set sail. Go oh, an adventure on a ghost ship. Sounds like fun. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we can see it. That's the ghost ship. As expected of Captain Selene's pirate ship. It's even bigger than the fish. So it was more than 10 years ago. Oh, it has been several decades since it was lost at sea. I wonder what's happening inside. That's the sound of somebody shaking in their boots. Well, she doesn't wear boots. Oh, are you afraid? Hey, don't tease her. Jeez. All right. We're about to make contact. All hands on deck, etc. All right, everybody ready for battle. All right, so we've gotten on. This is the ghost ship. More than expected, it's pretty unsettling on here. I'm not scared at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this girl too. It's all right. It's not scary. It's not scary. Nothing to be scared of here. Okay. So there are monsters wandering around on deck. And since Selena doesn't have any fighting power, well, do your job and protect her. Sure, leave it to us. And we're after the treasure and the forbidden box. How nice. It seems that here there's something closed up and they can't get in. It's a one-way exit. So, okay, great. So we could wander around, but this is basically like I did in my walkthrough. I'll eventually remember it. The presence here. There's an old barrier set up. It seems it's something from an old, from a, some kind of magical item. A barrier? Who set up a barrier? Captain Selena did. When opening that box, the disaster came out. And since she didn't want it to escape into the outside world, she used her secret treasure, the Jewel of Barriers. Hmm. Selena, why do you know that? Ooh, mysterious. Help me, help me. What kind of, what's this? What voice is it? You're hearing things. It's definitely you're hearing things. Hmm, Selena doesn't know. She doesn't seem to recall anything like this. Over here, over here. Again, that strange voice. <laughs> mother, mother. That's the Mao's voice calling to me. You're the Mao. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, what is it exactly? According to the threats that Selena knows of it, they shouldn't be connected at all. Shiku, 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 shiku. That's the sound of somebody shivering, I think. Oh, yeah, that's more shivering sounds. Except, you know, slime type shivering sounds. Slime. 
bark bark whine and a dog in this case could it be could it be indeed help me save me as expected come on these are good girls shivering in fear come on this is pathetic I thought you were a ghost <laughs> well it's nice that you infiltrated this place for us but now you're so scared you can't move let's pick them up on our way out bark bark and boodoo boodoo yep why did I come here I know you had to wander by those guys for something or other was it this yeah, the captain's room key. With this we can enter into the pirate into the captain's room. So let's go. <laughs> I wish those girls weren't just comic relief. Like they actually had something important to do. All right, ahead of here there seems to be a her very heavy presence. Probably there's a pretty impressive monster waiting for us. So a monster, don't tell me it came out of the Pandora's box. Yes, that's right. What was sealed inside of the Pandora's box was an unusually dangerous monster. So, Captain Selene who released it had to use the treasures that she was holding in order to seal the ship and now it's been more than 50 years and the barrier is starting to weaken so we can't just leave it like this if we do this dangerous monster will escape into the outskied world Ah, well, we can't let that happen. Let's defeat them. All right. The fish pirates are going to exterminate these guys. But, Selena, why do you know all these circumstances so intimately? If you weren't here, you wouldn't be able to know. Well, with regard to that, she'll tell you tell all once it's all over for now let's get to that Yoma that monster and defeat it don't tell me you're uh, no I don't believe it all right this is the captain's room on the other side of the door is the monster that came out of the Pandora's box all right let's get ready and go Come on, let me go into the secret passageway. I don't care about the monsters. Bleh. Whatever. Be that way. See if I care. Alright, this is Beelzebub A. So, you guys have been brought here by that pirate. She was thinking it would be somebody impressive, but we look pretty weak. Hey. But he's pretty cute, so why don't we have fun with him? It's just a human after all. We get to lay eggs in and that's all. Ew, gross. If they weren't useful for that. If we don't decide to use them for that, we can suck and dry also. So what are you guys? This is the queen of insects, apparently. Or some kind of insects. Oh, I know. It's the Lord of the Flies, Belzebub. Anyway. Something more than a thousand years ago. There was a big island in this area of the sea. And the fly monsters that lived here were up to no good let's say and so the first Mao, Alice fused the first 
defeated them and sealed them in a box. So what was inside the box wasn't a treasure at all. Yeah, no kidding? It was passed down that it wasn't supposed to be opened, but eventually the legend got changed it such that it was called the treasure in the box. So, the queen of the flies, Belzebub, was what was sealed inside. These three, in other words. Oh, you look like you have the blood of the Mao in you. Interesting. With this we can get some payback as well. Ha! If you're not even a ghost, we're not afraid of you. Are you actually admitting you're afraid of ghosts? No. Anyway. We can't release these bells above out into the outside world, so... Luca, we're counting on you. Yeah, leave it to me. Let's go, Belzebub. Oh man, he looks so tasty. Bleh. She's looking forward to a few thousand children from him. Oh, grossness. Mm, the rest of them are useless. Let's just kill them. So, once they've finished us off, they're going to take the opportunity and escape into the outside world. So, they'll put out thousands or tens of thousands of flies. Heh. <laughs> yeah, like we're going to allow that. The fish pirates are going to put a stop to you. <sighs> Man, that was a lot of crap to translate. Oh, to think we'd be defeated. Yeah, surprise. You get in our way, that's what happens to you. So, to think they would be this strong. So, the Belzebubs dissolve into countless flies and disappear. And disappear, excuse me. No, oh, they disappear. Wait, did we defeat them? Yes, their presence is completely gone. So, those monsters were finally completely defeated. Yay! This is the victory of the fish pirates. Alright, thanks everybody. Thanks to you. The regret of several years has finally been cleared up. And, in the end, there's something that I have to tell you. But first, let's return to the ship. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. There are valuables in the treasure room, so you can have those. In this room, the key to the treasure room is hidden. Let's see, where was it? I think I wrote a memo somewhere. Oh, I think there was a memo about it somewhere. Hmm. Not in here. Not in there either. Maybe it's back here. That isn't a memo either. It's a treasure room key. So where's the memo? Where's the memo? Come on. Hey. <laughs> this is the moments that... These are the moments that make me glad to be a pirate. Yeah, well. With this, I'm with you, milady. Pirate treasure. Pirate's treasure. Great. Yeah, gold and silver and all that good stuff. It doesn't look like it'll be valuable for our journey, so we can sell it. It'll fetch a pretty good price. Goodies. Pegasus sword. Prism shield. Oh, this is a named sword. It could be Masamune. I'm afraid I don't know all the those kanji with that well. Purple orb. That's what we're really here for. 
So this is the emergency exit. Takes us right up to the exit. All right. Thank you, Hero Luca and your ally and your companions. Thanks to you, those those terrible monsters have been eliminated. Selena, what exactly are you? Well, I've been lying to you. In truth, Captain Selena didn't have it. In truth, she's not the granddaughter of Captain Selena. She is Captain Selena herself. What? But Captain Selena is already. That's right, I'm not a living human. Fifty years ago, when opening that box, I died instantly. But what we awakened, the Queen of the Flies, with the regret in my heart, I was unable to move on to the next world. Is that so? But now there's nothing keeping me here. Thank you, Luca. Best of luck on your journey. Well. Well, rest in peace. Mm, but anyway, to think that the ship we were riding on was... Yeah, the ship we were riding on was a ghost ship. Yeah. Since uh, Selene there was a ghost, this make, that makes this ship a ghost ship as well. Haha. <laughs> Isn't that startling, Alice? Alice? She passed out. She's standing up, but she managed to pass out in a standing position. Yep, that's Alice for you. Well, why don't we go visit Selena's house again? We should probably put her things in order. Yeah, we need to pay our respects to one of the pirate queens of this age. No, we'll be cursed. <laughs> oh, come on, don't say that. Come on, let's go. Ah, here it is. Ah, oh, welcome. She didn't go to the next world at all. Hmm, she didn't achieve Nirvana at all. Uh, so what happened? Well, it seems there's still something. A regret keeping her in this world. What she's thinking of is... One thing only. The Bills of Ub is still alive. Are still alive? I guess it's plural. Oh! As expected, the way they disappeared back then, they aren't dead, huh? So the Bills of Ub's body turned into those countless number of flies. So it wasn't that we defeated them, it's that they ran away. So even if we return to the ghost ship now, it's too late. They've escaped into the outside world. Oh, we've really got to put a stop to them as soon as possible. Yes, what she was afraid of all this time has come to pass. So, she's going to be assisting in the battle power region. Oh, she joins our party. Oh, to think that we'd be fighting alongside Captain Selena. This is the height of honor for me, the pi captain of the fish pirates. Oh. Even though I showed you such a pathetic showing on my ship, but 
It's a pleasure working with you, Captain. So, let's go. Certainly somewhere. They're going to be causing trouble. Yeah, let's hurry and find them. Hmm. This is ground gold. And there's them. So, let's put a stop to this long piece. Yeah. According to what they read in that book, in that ship, the humans of this age are... haven't seen monsters like us before. They've gotten weak from the peace. So they're going to run screaming in fear once they see us. Okay, the bread seller calls out to them. Hey, would you like some bread from Grand Gold? It's quite famous. Huh? You're not afraid of us. You guys. Are you followers of the Mao? Don't be stupid. The one who sealed us in there was the Mao. We hate her. Good. What the hell's going on here? There are monsters wandering around in the town? This isn't good. This isn't what was in the books we read. Hmm. Maybe we picked the wrong place. How about another? No. I get what I remember what that means now. They're going to a backwater instead of a big city. So in this kind of backwater, these guys will surely be afraid of monsters. Huh? You guys. Welcome! Can I get you anything? Yeah. What the hell's going on here? That's right. Sailing his ship sank 50 years ago, and the calamity, when Elias disappeared, magic started happening, and the monsters got, you know, freedom to interact with humans was only 30 years ago. So naturally, yeah, those girls were out of date. In any case, we don't know where the bells above are now, but we've got to find them. Yeah, I'll get right on it. Should I chase them down to that cutscene? Nah, I'm gonna go get the Holy Halcom. This is going to be a long video, but... Huh? Oh, I guess Alice is wondering what we're going to find in this cave. Perhaps if we asked around in the gold port nearby, we'd understand. I thought I talked to enough people. And anyway, I don't like talking to people, so I'm just going to discover it and deal with it. Anyway, on this floor there's magma flowing through. So we can push through it if we need to, but we need to have a plan. Otherwise we'll take damage. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm here for. Or the Halcon. Well, with this we can make Orahalkan equipment. So let's get to that blacksmith. You know, I don't need to walk through with this. I can teleport out. There it is. That guy standing in the wall just creeps me out every time. Alright. Gotta talk. Puppy wants to be the number one blacksmith in the world. So, we'd like you to pass down your knowledge of working in our Halcon to her. Hmm, well, you're the same race as I, and I'd like to teach you. 
Furthermore, you seem pretty good. But your tools aren't any good. With that help, with that hammer of yours, you won't be able to beat Horror Kalkin. That's true. It's my beloved hammer and all, but I was kind of feeling it had reached its limit. Well, it's clear that you've used that hammer with a lot of love for a while. But in order to beat Aura Halkin, you're going to need the best kind of hammer. And if you want to be the best blacksmith in the world, you need the highest hammer as well. You want the Dragonsmith hammer. That would be appropriate to the number one in the world. Naturally, we don't have that in this shop. There should be one in the North Sea Shrine, according to rumor. The North Sea Shrine. All right, let's go. If you get your hands on it, come again. This girl here will actually teach you or help him. Great. Oops. So, where was it? It was outside a gold doll. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So, in the North Sea Shrine, since we defeated Poseidonus earlier, this girl appears at the entrance and lets us teleport straight to her. Well, she doesn't have it. It's actually over here. Right here. The Dragonsmith Hammer. Ah, teleporting items are great. I'd hate to have to actually walk places. All right, Dragon Smith. Get some teaching on. Puppy needs to learn. All right, you got your hands on the Dragon Smith hammer. Since you're a first-rate worker of metal, we'd be glad to teach you. All right, I'll learn with all my might. Puppy's cool. Uh, I can't do it. Oh, don't act so weak. Grip your hammer. I'm sure you can do it. All right, I'm not giving up. Ah! I did it. I was able to beat it. Hmm, that's enough. If you keep working on it like that, you'll be perfect at making the... and pounding it into shape. Thanks so much! Now that she can pound her Halkin, she feels like she can see the top. Puppy's awesome. Hmm, well... There's still a lot of materials we don't know about. There are certain monsters that know about... Rainbow. A certain element. Most smiths don't even know of its existence. Interesting. And the ones who can actually sh shape it are probably no more than five people. Now, can be counted on the fingers of... Can be counted on five fingers. That's what she's saying. So, if you have a chance to go to the Island of Fairies, talk to the elf smith that you find there. She should be able to teach you how to shape rainbow. Rainbow, huh? To think that in the world there was still that kind of material remaining. Ooh, she's getting excited. Rainbow. 
What the hell kind of metal is that? <sighs> but then we've done things like beating dragon scales and gold. Gold isn't a, actually a very good metal for making armor out of. Anyway, next up, this uh, I believe is the Succubus Village. I've never been inside of it. So I get to find that out before you'll see me next time doing whatever it is happens. So, thanks for watching and next time we'll see.